Hello guys and welcome back to another video with me Slivers FX. Today we're doing UNLIMITED <laughs> And for this, the first thing we need to do is talk to a uh, guy on owner's farm, a mercenary. His name is Hokurn. Normally in Gothic 2 Gold you would start meeting him in uh, the Valley of Mines just as the dragon hunt begins. But here they actually added him on owner's farm. So we're going to start with this. This also includes the Fire Mage's Expedition, by the way. So you have to do these two ha quests hand in hand. Okay? Yeah, we're going to talk to him first. Here. And you give him a first, a little snaps. And you get his first quest. It's called... <laughs> Now you can do this, I think, in chapter three. If not, I will do. I will finish it in chapter four. Uh, the second thing, well, he tells us to go to the Brotherhood, where we will find somebody named Unicorn. That's kind of funny, Unicorn. And we're gonna talk to him, and we give him ten items, which is stocks of Swampy. And he gives us uh, the next part of the quest. Okay, and since we're still in Corinus, we're gonna go to the monastery. And we're gonna go to the basement where the library is. Oh, Milton's gonna stop us. I'm not gonna talk to him. No need. Uh, so, we're gonna go to the basement to the library. And we're gonna read one of these book stands this one specifically and it's gonna say we're gonna get another quest called the fire mage expedition <laughs> and we're gonna talk to uh what's his name pa pa pyrocar and we ask him about the fire mage expedition and who else was on this expedition and we're gonna go talk to xardas now that is in the uh, in this yeah. uh, his tower, of course. And you ask him about the stone yeah. giant. Of course, I'm gonna give him some dark crystals and cursed weapons, and he also gives me a dark soul potion. Uh, that's from another area. Uh, and then you have to go upstairs where this book appears called Xardas's Records. And before we continue, we have to read it. Hmm. Just for a little extra experience and stuff. Okay, cool. Now, we're going to go to the Valley of Mines. And we're going to go... Sorry, not the Valley of Mines. Uh, to Jarkandar. And we're going to go to the Water Mages. I'm going to teleport to the Bandit Camp. Where we're going to meet a very special bandit that also spawns right after this quest uh, is set up. And he's right here. That's bizarre. He's normally not here. So he's down in a tavern. But I guess. And we talk to him. And we need 35 rhetoric to give him only 3 pieces of iron ore. Or you can give him 3 pieces of magic ore. It's up to you. Very interesting. That one of the brothers from he somehow overheard a hmm, well yes what do you mean I want to say that oh real do I look like I wouldn't then believe that. then Scorpio but so the art <laughs> listen to me however at the time but I, I... all right now we have to go back to Corinus and talk to Milton or to the Valley of Mines if he's still in the Valley of Mines at this point for you. If you're in chapter two, in chapter three, he's already in uh, front of the monastery. Uh, the next part is going to be again in the Valley of Mines in the old tower. And there's going to be a mage that appears in front of the crypt, same crypt that we just used to go into for the uh, Gomez's cursed quest. This guy's name is Alex. And uh, this guy is weird because he wasn't supposed to be here. But he has been 
around this place for year, not for year, for months. And we're gonna go back in the crypt. And we're gonna read the books that we left off behind last time. So you guys know what I'm talking about. I already cleared up all the skeletons here because it was part of the Gomez's Cursed quest. Uh, not this way. We're going this way. And the gate is already open as well. <clears throat> here we are. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open this chest and we're going to read these books. Both of them. Not one of them is for uh, a different quest. Hmm. <clears throat> it's for a quest for or for Xardas, if you're doing Xardas' quest. And then we have to interact with this little stand here. And if will the wisp would get out of the way. Thank you. And then the Priestess of Beliar appears. That tells you what to do next. Maybe he now, where do we go from here? So, I had already seen the name Janos in one of the records I found in the same cave. Creature seems to be somewhere in the icy part of the island. Now, you can only finish this quest if you have already done the Shadow Valley. You have to kill the, uh, the Shadow Dragon. So we're going to first go back to Corinna's. I am not sure if I've already learned how to resist ice. Uh, but we're going to learn it from Lee. So we're going to go to Ono's farm. And then we're going to return to the Valley of Mines. Where we're going to have to go through the new mine. Or the free mine. So let's see if Lee can teach us anything new. I think I haven't talked to him about this yet. Um, so what's this business with your Vatras? I'm just going to go through all of this real quick. A lot of, a lot of things going on. As well as Lee's old friend. Now, Lee's old friend is going to be a separate video. But I will include this conversation into it. Uh, teach me how to endure cold. You get four. You need to get four uh, learning points. And you get also five magic protection. And now, we're going to go to the Valley of Mines. New camp. <laughs> a lot of traveling here and there for this quest. But I'm doing this all in one go. Normally I don't, I just uh, do things spontaneously and uh, whatever I'm closer to. But this is so you guys know step by step what to do with the UNLIMITED Okay, cool. The guy's dead. Let's summon crates. <laughs> well, apparently I haven't been here before. Let's just go around and kill a few things. Might as well kill the uh, icy golems. And the draconis, draconians. There we go. Another icy golem up there. Of course, the dragon has already spawned, so we're not gonna go in there. Even though the records of the the water mages are in there, and I'm gonna clear out all the orcs that are up here. Because at this point, they are n just in the way. As well as these ones down here, because there's some loot down here, I believe. I think there's even a, uh, yep, mini boss over there. Might as well get it for an extra learning point. Some uh, 
good scrolls of there of the undead. Even though we're not using them anymore. Where is the hell? Oh, I just shot him through the floor, that's nice. Uh, more orcs here that I'm gonna get rid of all of them. This is also part of the uh, uh, exploration mine free for Garant, by the way, so you might as well clear all of these orcs. Okay, I think we got all of... Oh, no, one more. One more there. And another one there. Anyone more? Nope. This camp is clear. And now for the other part of the free mine. Cool, that was fast. Now the free mine has a few more orcs. Uh, nothing we cannot handle, of course. We're doing this on speed mode. Okay, if I turn this uh, lever here, then the quest should update, I believe, or not, unless I have to clear all of them. I guess that is it. There's no more orcs around here. Okay, let's go through the free mine now and get to the other side and finish the... <laughs> ...quest. Well, we still have to go through here. But, we're gonna do this the fast way. So, for those that don't know, uh, the area where we have to go through is the same area you found the Orc in Gothic 1. Oh, never mind, it's closed off. Shame, you can't take the shortcut. Can't take the shortcut, you have to take the long way around. Okay. We're gonna go to the smelter, then at the smelter we're gonna take a left. Oh, and yeah, uh, you have to actually uh, clear this area to get the quest for Garand. At least you have to kill the main orc. Let's check. He's not here. He's in the other area. It has to be through here then. Yeah, it has to be through here. This is the smelter area, and this is where we're gonna find uh, the main orc. There we go. Exploration mine free uh, thing has been updated. Which means now we can continue in our journey to the unlimited power quest. Let's put our... Oh, hello. I already have 500 magic ore. That's quite, quite insane. But there's never enough. Because we are hoarders. And we love hoarding. <laughs> okay, so from the smelter, you go here to the left. Then you go down here. There's going to be a couple of more orcs. Down to the left again. Ignore the, uh, the mountain spiders. Here you go to the right. Until you meet these uh, stairs. Sorry, this ladder. Go up the ladder. And then up the other ladder. And you're going to see two chests here. You have to see th these two chests to know where you are. And also Nefarious' recipe is in this mine, by the way. If you've already done Jarkandar. Um... Bum -bum -bum. There you go. Once you're uh, down here, climb up again, but to the other side. And this was normally a dead end, right? In Gothic 1. Here, it's actually a pass through 
the icy region and you get to the next part and Lee's old friend also updates but this will be a separate video we're just here to uh, to get the unlimited <laughs> I'm gonna sleep until morning because it's kind of late I think it does that every time you pass through somewhere specific so there's gonna be two ways of this okay once you get through here there's one way to go left and one way to go right we're just gonna stick to the right for now uh, let's put crate into work thank you you're gonna see some orcs some uh, icy uh, animals around just kill everything on the way and just for this specific quest stick to your right okay stick to your to your right as much as you can and eventually you'll come across uh, an orc camp the only thing you want to avoid for now is that orc camp specifically so we're here still to the right Now this is a dead end, but we're gonna still stick to the right area. Okay, we're going this way now. And we can go through here. We could go through here. We don't have to go through here. Because we're gonna mess up the other quest then, okay? So we're just gonna go this way instead. So you want to avoid the orcs, but you want to kill everything else on the way. Nice. We're getting close to the other part of the orc camp. The mean orc camp. We're going to actually have to do some quests here for the orcs that have captured Lee's old friend and... Uh, free him up so this is your camp avoid them also if you've noticed this is part of Jarkandar copied so the shadow valley was like uh part of Corinus and the uh, expedition the excavation site and this is Jarkandar's extended north part of the of the valley the canyon even the same uh, the same cave system is right here. So we're gonna continue. We're gonna crawl across a lot of ice golems to this area. There you go. Nice. We're almost there. There's gonna be one more ice golem here. And the rest, I think, is just undead orcs or skeleton orcs. Pretty much. Orc skeleton, yep. You can one shot them with this bow if you're using, uh. If you're using the same uh, techniques I am. Nice. I think there's uh, two or three more on top of this ledge. Want to get rid of them? Level up. No, just two more. Okay, cool. And then we're going to disable crate. And we're going to talk to Janus over here. Janus Two-Face. He used to be a uh, dragon hunter. Stop, mortal. Why is... So, what do I have to do to convince you? Why they call you Two-Face? What were you when you were alive? You don't think I can handle you? And then conversation. So, what do we have to do? I have to get the Soul of Belia and I have to more than... First, I must deal with the Eye of Enos. So, after you deal with the Eye of Enos in Chapter 4, you come back here. So, what, that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, I am back with the Eye of Enos already intact. This is Chapter 4 now. And now I can talk to Janus again. Here is the soul of a ch Indeed it is she. <laughs> so before we continue, we do have to go to uh, Valia Mines again. 
and we have to go to Xardas's sunken tower. Now that was the one that was before the old tower. That's the sunken tower. And the Dragon Hunter's uh, quest has already updated at this point. But for us it doesn't matter. Because we have to get into this tower that's right here. And we are going to destroy everything that's on it. Well, I think I already have. Let me check what's inside though. Ah uh, yes, we have not destroyed anything that's inside. So, basically to know more about the, the golem that's inside of the of that crypt that Janos is guarding, we're going to have to destroy some of the undead here and read books about it. Well, we'll see what else we got here. So this is a, sh a special place. A very special place. This is Zardas's very old tower. And uh, if you remember from Gothic 1, you also had to get here to get uh, the... Uh, what's it called? The ore armor. Now, you won't get the ore armor here, but you'll get other stuff instead. Nice. Okay, we're going to... Clear out this first, and then we're gonna go to this side where the uh, the little Varzar is. Let's see, active passive. Okay, put it in passive. And a demon spawn as soon as you uh, wreck that boss, <laughs> even though he was supposed to talk to you. Because he just says he's not going to let you through. But it's fine. It doesn't matter in what order you do this. As long as everything dies. Here's one of the orbs that you're going to need for the Guardian's quest as well. But I will show everybody where to get those four uh, elements anyway. I'm going to get the forge chest. That's two on this side and there should be two more on the other side i'm not sure if i can open both though let's see i can actually you get breath of life chronicles of stonos which is number one on that tamer which is a one-handed weapon again for uh or uh more of a boost more damage against on that let's see what we got in here okay cool now let's see what we got in our inventory that is so interesting. So Sto Chronicles of Stonos 1 gives you the uh, ability or the information on how to get rid of that, uh, how do you call that, uh, about the golem. Okay, so after you've obtained all of the books first one was in uh, the old sunken tower of xardas the second one was in creoli's room there is a special uh button on the firewall that you can uh, open and there will be a chest behind the room the third one is on the altar with the tear of adonos if you have just completed the uh, the secrets of the temple of adonos and gotten to the dragon we haven't continued from there uh, the fourth volume is in the chest at the end of the City of the Dead. That is in the Shadow Valley, which you all, we also have completed. That's the Orc City plot. The fifth volume is carried by the Guardian of the Sphere in the Orc Mine, which was done in Chapter 2 when we were rescuing the, uh, ooh, the slaves from the Orc Mine. Uh, the sixth volume is obtained after defeating Asgalar of the Sh Valley of Shadows. So basically two uh, chapters of the uh, these books are obtained in the Valley of Shadows, so to speak. And if we look at our inventory real quick, we have now obtained all six of them, correct? And you also have to read all of them for the story to progress. So at this point... We have to go to Pyrocar in uh, Corinus. We're going to talk to him about what needs to be done next. Are you going to play? So I 
Milton tells you about the dragon hunt and he gives you a key to the Valley of Mines. Uh, and here Sorry, is about stone. the stone golem. Creature was and Did you really know everything? About it's a long story. Just take my word. So that creature has a divine aura, and the source of his power is just an. Or oh, Inos, you're right after. As far as I remember, its entire foundation was indeed covered with a rock. At that time, we didn't attach much importance to. It is also clear that at that time, you didn't stand a single chance. Only an immense flow of magical energy. Possessing. Do you mean the magic contained with Ah, uh, absolutely correct. They're just the main. Only the magical rune and. What about the. I'm not sure that such a weapon exists, but even if it does exist, it will still have to use. Without it, I'll just have nowhere to store the sword. Can you make such a. So, are you serious? Possible. But this is. Will you make this rune? Alright, you'll. I will make. I How is my rune? She's ready. Nevertheless, I still want to stop you before it's encountering this creature could cost. I will think about your words, and of course. You already know, right? And after you've obtained this Pyrocar's rune, you have to go to a place of very um, concentrated magic. So, it says we saw a pile of the very bottom of the old mine near the elevator, uh, or in the Orcish mine at the far end. For me, the easiest one is in the Valley of Mines. Uh, let's go to the new camp. And we're going to drop down all the way to the end. And we'll see what to do with this. <laughs> so we are here with the new mine. Sorry, with the new camp teleport and we're gonna go to the old mine and we're gonna go to the very bottom where there's a big pile of ore and we're gonna transfer all the magic from the uh, the rune to our sword I believe I think that's how it works we have already cleared out the mine for Gomez's curse so I'm just gonna drop down all the way to the bottom there we go here we are now let's see if this works. The magical energy overflows the rune. Now I believe that this rune is usable with the uh, with the stone golem that we need to face. I suppose the amount of magical energy in the rune is not enough to try and use it to destroy the stone golem. All that's left to, for Janus to face is to let me through. So we're gonna go to uh, back to the icy mountain of orcs. So after you've obtained the uh, magical rune that will destroy the stone sentinel, uh, you have to come back to Janus, right? And the way to open the door is to interact with this little uh, cauldron here in front of him, and the door will open. And a lot of people get puzzled why he doesn't let you open. Why why does he, why can't I go in, right? I have done everything so far. Yeah, and this little thing here gets in the way. And they don't know. And I didn't know either for a long time. <laughs> so it is quite an accomplishment while I'm doing this quest because it's one of the longest and most tedious quests. If you in like combine all the quests together, what else you have to do? So I'm gonna here first just uh, change my armor back to my Grand Scout's armor. And I'm not even sure if I'm gonna need the rune, but we'll see. Maybe it will be enough if I just uh, use my sword. We'll try both. First the rune, of course, because it might be just like an instant kill. Uh, there are nothing, there's nothing here to fight. These ghosts are harmless. I'm not even sure if they do anything if you try to kill them. But the stone golem itself should be behind this room here. So we're going to save one more time. And the stone golem appears right there. This is the fire mages expedition. Where does this stone golem come from? Well, if you've uh, been reading on the story, then you will know. I'm just going to activate my rune and he's probably gonna talk to me you come, you can... and he dies in one shot <laughs> so pyrocar's rune has crumbled 
and that is it basically and now we are here with the <laughs> Now this is the probably the most powerful artifact in the world and there is nothing you can do about getting it or not getting it, okay? You'll see why. What do you want here? And how did you even get here? Through the magical portal. Mm, I've already figured that out myself, smarty pants. If you can see the image inside that sphere is actually taken from the um I completed his trial from one of the wallpapers for Gothic. I... Anyway, we're looking for an artifact, and he shows you how powerful he is, so he could kill you with a thought. And he gives you an option. So instead of you taking the artifact, he gives you an option what you can get. So you can get strength. Dexterity, wisdom and knowledge, or life and stamina. For me, dexterity is Make always the best bad. option. And if you do this in chapter 7, I believe you actually get more. Now, Janus Two-Face is going to be on the floor, dead here, basically. And this Priestess of uh, Belia is going to be in front of you, and you have to destroy her. I'm afraid to disappoint you. She is very fast. She is probably the the fastest attacking uh, uh, human uh, humanoid that I have ever seen. But she also bleeds, so she died from that. And she carries one of the most powerful weapons that you can find in the game for dexterity, which is the Blade of the Priestess of Belia. There's only one more, pow more powerful weapon than this, and uh, if you're a one-handed dexterity person, this will benefit you greatly in Chapter 4 already. So, that's it. This has been unlimited... <laughs> Man, what a quest. Probably has the most amount of like intertwining quests in the game. But in the end, it's a very interesting one. It doesn't give you much. Not as much as you would expect. But hey, in the end, it's all about the game, right? If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, uh, comment for your questions down in the comment section below and uh, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next entertaining video of Gothic 2 New Balance. Have a wonderful day.